you to Crazy Vango Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the 12th episode of Bad Batch Rescue on Ryloth. Now we did get to see some old faces, but also a very young Hera, as well as her family, and obviously going through the changes of what's happening with the Empire and seeing how her family is handling it. And it's was it was a great episode, a refreshing one, and it was exciting to see what's been unfolding in this particular episode. Um, planet. I was about to say country, but no. Um, there is a particular soldier, um, a, a clone, I can't remember his name now, but he was acting very normal, like as if he was a normal clone, so that's why a lot of us were actually like speculating whether he was affected by Order 66 or if he just has a very close bond with this particular family that it actually prevented Order 66. But we will see more of that in this episode and if that will actually be true or not. But let's jump into this episode. I'm very excited. So yeah, let's get into it. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. I love Eleni. She's such a great character. I wonder if something happens to the mum because we never see her in Rebels, so I think she might die. Maybe. I was there. That blast didn't come from Champ or his finest. Is that so? Then please enlighten me. Who is responsible? I don't know, sir. Yeah, I was about to say, do not say anything. Oh, bless her, Mega. Children often overreact. No, Tech. Every time someone's in trouble. Why not? Isn't that what soldiers do? Yeah, Hunter. Very true. <laughs> and also, how can you not fall for that beautiful girl? Yeah, this is like a big mission if they are going after the parents, because that means that the Bad Batch can get taken! Yeah, Crosshair will immediately know that they're there. Oh god. Yeah, Hunter knew. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not worth the risk. Back to you. She's trying to save her family, Hunter. I'd do the same for you. Yeah, that's so true. And he has done the same for her too. Damn. Also, I was going to say, just quickly, someone brought it up last episode in the comments, and it actually had me thinking, like, during the week about it. It, like, because, of course, he, like, Crosshair sustained a, a large amount of damage from the blast from that ship a couple of episodes ago, and now his brain is exposed, but, um, <laughs> or his head is, like, burned. But, um, someone was saying, what if the chip was damaged and this is just him? Like, it's not even the chip, it's just Crosshair. And that's also a very interesting point that could be true like and you know like with the people on tumblr who still have been messaging me about it like it this is also a really good point like what if crosshair is just like this he's not actually you know he can't fight it anymore or like he's accepted it and this is what he does because now it's like i don't know it feels like so easy for him to act like this whether it's because of order 66 or if it's just him like i feel like if it was just him it would be a very interesting concept because that means like 
Um, even though Bad Batch, like, know the risk of trying to save Crosshair, and they don't, because obviously it's dangerous, um, like, if they ever do get the chance to try and fix him, and it just doesn't work because he's just, this is him, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens and the conflict that could, like, erupt from that with the Bad Batch, because then they'll just be like, oh my god, like, we, like, what are we gonna do? And then Crosshair as well, whether he has that internal battle still with himself to rejoin his brothers or stay with the Empire, it's gonna be interesting. Exactly. That's true. Oh. No, don't you dare. So this They're so cute. Something. Like how you swore to protect Rhinoth? Oh. Hauser, that's his name. Don't make that mistake again. Oh, no. He's trying to do the right thing. Oh. No, it's oh so bittersweet. Cause that's true. You two go with Chopper as backup, but at a distance by themselves. Tech Wrecker, wait until those cannons. Oh yes, Hunter trusts her and them. Yes, Hunter, definitely a big change for him. He never would have done this. He would have left by now. Oh, yes! So, Akira and I are working on it. Just don't shoot down our shuttle. Wait, what shuttle? <laughs> Tick. <laughs> Tick's just like, what the f- What? What? What now? <laughs> Come on, Hera, you know how to fly. Oh, she doesn't know how to take off. Forgot about that. Oh, so good! So good! Go, 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 go! Oh. Yes, children. Damn, Tank! Whoa! Drifting through the sky! Nice, Tank! <laughs> oh, Cross is going there. Oh, no. What the Empire is doing is wrong. You have to get out of here. They had the exits blocked. Oh, damn, that makes me really sad. Oh no, Crosshair's gonna shoot him. What? Oh, Hauser! Oh my god. Because of his sacrifice, they got away. But wait! Like, a few of them dropped their weapons. So, like, it, it shows, like, because, you know, Order 66, it does take hold of a lot of the clones, but obviously as we saw with Rex, and obviously with Hauser, it seems like some of them didn't get fully taken by Order 66, like their will was stronger than the will of the Empire. And it just showed that the people who did throw down their weapons, they also had the will to realize that this was wrong. And that's such a beautiful thing, we don't get to see that often, and that's probably why they got rid of the clones, because Order 66 wasn't holding up. That's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Do you have to go? Oh. But I'm sure I'll see you oh, I hope so. Oh. Oh, friends. Cuties. She brings out the human part of the clones. Oh, shite. They left that place in a big mess. Shit. 
Oh, this music, what is this? <laughs> Shit, that was a great episode. Nice. And it wasn't too long, obviously. It was like a 24-minute episode altogether. But that was great. Again, like, oh, I can't even, t like, speak hi more highly than just how good this show is and how much I love it. Um, like, there's so much character development in each episode. Like, not a lot, but there's still heavy bits of it. Especially for Hunter. Like, obviously with Rekka... Even tech and stuff, even this episode, we saw a bit of <laughs> character development for tech. Because he got really stressed out for Omega and Hera, and he was like, ship? What ship? What ship? What? What? Like, panicking, and just, oh, I loved it. And the fact that um, Omega called um, the boys her brothers, like, obviously we said, like, father figures, because they're so much older than her, but the fact that she calls them brothers is really sweet. Um, she doesn't see them as that old, which is so, would be good on their pride. They would be happy about that. But great episode. I loved the whole thing with Hauser. Hauser is such a great character, and I do hope we get to see him again, whether it's on Ryloth, whether he escapes, or whether even the Bad Batch find out that he sends a signal or something to get help to try and uh, make them escape. That would be really interesting, and I would love to see the aftermath of that, and all of the clones who drop their weapons, etc. Um, going back to Crosshair again, I don't know, man. It's starting ever since that person commented on my video. I'm like, oh shit, maybe he's actually not under the will of the chip anymore. Maybe this is just him wanting to fight for the Empire and wanting to hunt them down. Um, I mean, I guess we'll find out in the next few episodes. We're nearly at the end. We've got four more episodes until the end of the season. It's gone, it's gone fast, but it's been nice to have this really long journey of watching each episode each week. It's very nice, and I've enjoyed it. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next four episodes. It's gonna be interesting what sort of turn it takes. I really enjoyed as well, again, the aspect of Hunter not trusting um, not, not that he didn't trust Hera, but not trusting that they could do it, and saying, you know, we have to step away from the mission, because understandably, there probably are missions that they cannot handle, because there's four of them versus a whole battalion, like, they obviously have to make the right decision whether to do it or not, and in this perspective, even I was sort of like, oh, they'll never do it, it's so dangerous, but the fact that Hera and Omega made that plan as well, um, was so good and then like pitching it to them and saying you know there is a chance that this could work and them actually especially Hunter believing in it and even giving uh, like that um trust into Omega especially after last not last week the last week before that in that episode where he was trying to learn to trust Omega and her decisions and like how she actually is a part of the Bad Batch and is a vital member as well as the other ones. So it's nice to see that he's trusted her with this mission like and the fact that even with her I'm so proud of her like she took the mission into her hands and was like we're gonna get on that ship and we're gonna cause some shit to end chaos and just do it ourselves because this isn't we're gonna take too long and she did it herself which was great and obviously Hera was obviously a little bit like um shaky about it but quickly got into it and was very good at it and uh it was a great episode overall and again the action is so good and Again, animation, everything is on point for this show. They've learned so much from Clone Wars and are developing it and, like, expanding it so much in this new show of Bad Batch that it's just so good. And I'm glad that we're able to see sort of, like, the maturity of the show getting better and better and better. Especially because, again, they've learned from their stuff in Clone Wars and just getting it so well done. And I love it. It's so good. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Bad Batch. Episode 12, the fight, the, was it the fight? No, the rescue of Ryloth. <laughs> um, again, one of my favorite episodes. All these episodes are just so good and they all have like a unique quality to them. Like sometimes the writing does drag on, some moments drag on a little bit longer than others, but so far it's been really, really good and on pace and just really well written like episodes. And it's really nice to get these different like stories across the way. So next time I'm guessing it is the chase for the Bad Batch from Crosshair to kill his brothers or hunt down his brothers essentially and also capture Omega if that's the ultimate goal or even kill her. 
It's gonna be interesting and terrifying and ugh, I, I'm, I'm nervous now because it's it's official that he's on the hunt for them and ugh, oh god it's scary <laughs> but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!